Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we are going to be looking at picture in text. And now I'm not going to do this the quick and simple way of doing it. I want to add in a few more variants, just in case you ever come across an idea and you think, what happens if I do it this way? Or what happens if I do it that way? And hopefully some of those questions will be answered within this tutorial. So I'm going to dive straight into this video and let you see how I created the picture for the thumbnail and also cover a few new features in Photoshop while using the AI. So the first thing we're going to do with your image open is we are going to create a new layer. And in this new layer, we're going to flood fill it in white. Then we're going to move that below the background layer, which I've already unlocked. As I use two screens, I normally have any other images open in that screen and then I just drag it in and drop it on top. With the new update, the contextual bar allows you to do a few more things as you when you bring an image in. So I can flip it vertically, I can flip it horizontally and I can also rotate it. And for now, we are just going to leave it there. Also in the new update, you have generate image. So if you don't have any of the images or you wish to create one, you just type in your prompt. And in this case, I'm just going to go with uh, futuristic spiraling, spiraling and intertwining cables. And then I can go through and I can choose the final effect that I want for these and decide how I want it to look and what's going to be applied to it until you get, for example, something like this. And you've got three options which you can generate again. With the top layer selected, choose to rasterize it because we don't need it at this one as a smart object. And in this case, the overlay blend mode worked best for this image. Just to save any hassle for the rest of the edits, I went into view and ensured that snap, rollers and extras were turned on so that I could use the guides, bring them across in this case just to the centre of our nose so that later on I can use the rectangular marquee tool. What we're going to do next is we're going to select the subject and create a mask from that subject. Now this isn't entirely necessary, but just depending on what effect, just to let you see a couple of different ways that it will work. Now if I turn off the background layer, you'll see that the subject is selected. We are going to change this slightly later on, but you'll see why I have done this just now. Next, we're going to add the text. So with the top layer selected, go in and I'm just going to go for 60 and I'm going to leave it white just now so that you can see it. And the font that I'm going to use will be impact regular. And I'm just typing in ghost in the machine hitting return each time. But it's how to edit the text that I want to focus on in this area. So if I just click that, I can go to the move tool and move it and place it where I want it. But the gaps within the text are not exactly how I want them. So I can either double click in here and highlight the text. And I can choose which type of justification I want for the text center to the right or to the left. And where I'm wanting it now is here. So what I'm now going to do is go into this small folder and I'm going to bring the text closer. And you can see that just using the slider allows you a visual guide of it, of the spacing of the text. And you can take it a horizontal or vertical spacing. You also have the ability to highlight a single line and then increase the width of the text or bring it into wherever you want it. In this case, I'm quite happy with it there. Once I've got the text in position and where I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the text into a smart object. So just right click in the layer and choose convert to smart object. Now this means text is still editable and if I want to get back in and edit the text, maybe the gap, the spacing, the justification, I just click on the smart object icon that's in the layer. You then edit the text as you want and then click save, close that and it will update in the document that you are working in. For the next part of the exercise, we're going to hold down shift and we're going to turn off the text here. Hold down shift and press control and J and copy the two layers up and then move them above all the other layers. 
So that you can see what's happening next, I'm going to turn off all layers except for the two we have copied up. In the mask of the portrait layer, I'm going to select the brush tool and because it's a reveal all layer, I'm going to blend away quite softly some of the hair that's there just so that I can see and reveal some more of the actual swirl image, the wires and the cables. Still with the other layers turned off, I'm going to press Control, Shift, Command and E and copy up the visible layers. I'm then going to delete those two layers that I was working on. Keep the text layer below the image layer but turn it back on. And then on the merged layer, right click and go down and create clipping mask. And that will clip the image to the text. What we're going to do next is we're going to turn back on the other layers and you can see your text disappears, it's not visible at all. So what we have to do is select the two first layers we created and put them in a group. And then with that group selected, take the rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangle on the side that you want to keep and then go down to the mask tool and click that. And this is the effect that you would get from that. With the text layer selected, we are going to double click on it and we're going to go down to drop shadow. And now you've got plenty of sliders here that you can adjust the drop shadow to your own preferences. And it's worth playing around with these. You can even move the shadow around with the mouse. Once you're happy with the effect that you have for this, you just simply click OK. But what you can also do if you want to change it later, you'll notice in the layers panel, the word effects is now under the text layer. Double click on that and it will open that panel back up. The final part of this type of edit is go up to select. And because my previous selection was that half of the face, it is still engaged. So what I can do is I can go into the layer that I want to copy up, press Command and J and it copies that layer up. I want the blend mode to be normal though, so that I have this effect now with the face on one side and the cables on another. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it lets you see just another variant in how to do it. There's many different ways of actually putting picture in text and it's just how you apply like, the masks or how you apply the cutouts to get the final effect that you're after. So I do hope you get something from that video. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.